My pleasure to share with you how WJCC is embracing our diversity and empowering our English language learners. When students with a mother tongue other than English enroll in our school division, they are afforded the opportunity to participate in the English as a Second Language or ESL program. The goals of participation are to provide English learners with meaningful access to grade level content through meaningful participation in all instructional environments. The Every Student Succeeds Act requires that we provide appropriate pathways to language proficiency for our English learners and that the program is based on sound educational theory. Serving English learners from 5 to 21 years of age, our L student population has grown significantly over the past several years. Our families speak 31 different languages, with Spanish being our primary language group, followed by Mandarin Chinese, Arabic, Russian, and Vietnamese. Fatima Jafar, and I, I am from Syria. My name is Alex. I came from Russia. Hello, my name is Subishai. I'm from Thailand. <laughs> my name is Karina, and I'm from Romania. Hi, my name is Beth, and I'm from Vietnam. Now I'm a student at Lafayette High School. My name is Betsy. My name is Betsy, and I come from the USA. With educators as our foundation and student success as our focus, our ESL program is structured around these four key pillars, which serve as our framework. In our first pillar of building programmatic capacity, we work to ensure that our program is in compliance with state and federal mandates and is based on sound research. We are funded through a combination of local allocations and federal grant monies. A key requirement is that the core language program extend beyond the core content program. Annual assessments are used to determine student progress towards language proficiency. The second pillar is building instructional capacity to effectively meet the diverse needs of our students. It is imperative that we provide ongoing and targeted professional learning opportunities. I attended a training this past fall for my ELLs and the one thing that I, well a lot of things that I took away from it, I was very thankful for the course because it gave me insight where I did not have insight and it also gave me ideas. So a couple of ideas that I came away with was uh, teach the text backwards, start with the hands-on manipulative um, type work first and then to hook them and it really does work with all your students. I've attended an Excel conference and I learned a lot of great strategies there such as the pass around summary. I use that in all of my classes. I also attended or was a member of the Regent cohort getting my ELL endorsement and I learned a lot of basic strategies of working with ELL kids which I've translated to use with all my students in the classroom. From site-based job embedded staff development to our graduate courses offered through our partnership with Regent University, we have an intense focus on providing high quality, sustained professional learning opportunities to empower our teachers to confidently deliver targeted instruction. The third pillar is building academic and linguistic capacity. By implementing a variety of instructional strategies, significant benefits are yielded not only for our English learners, but for all of our students. Just having um, ELLs in the classroom has kind of motivated me to be more differentiated than I already was. So I'm now finding myself looking for more resources and more ways to enrich the instruction. I've benefited from teaching English language learners because I put a much greater focus on vocabulary acquisition and all of my students benefit from the our English language learners because uh, it broadens their global horizons in terms of culture and language and, and different um, life experiences and background knowledge. 
The use of realia, or real objects, graphic organizers, manipulatives, sorts, and visual aids are critical to the language learning process. Um, one of the things that I use to help my ELLs understand what's going on in the content area is to use realia and pictures to just help with the vocabulary of the content lesson. And this doesn't just help the ELL students in the classroom. This helps everyone to, to understand what's going on in the classroom and in the content a little bit better. So a park is a place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trees. Yeah. This is a school. You would see a and pencil. House. Schoolhouse. Yeah. And dogs to park. Yeah, you can bring your dog to the park. And get sleeping house. In the house. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful picture dictionary illustrating the words from Newton's Laws of Motion, Speed, Momentum, and Acceleration. She did a beautiful job. Building relationships is an important part of student achievement. James Comer reminds us that children don't care what we know until they know that we care. I spent a lot of time teaching overseas when I was younger, and I know how tough uh, culture shock can be and uh, not speaking the language makes it much worse. I mean, uh, the learning the culture and learning the language really go hand in hand. One strategy that I think is really helpful to um, work with the ESL students is to get to know them and build a rapport. Uh, many students have such diverse backgrounds and by learning something about them you can make better connections and help them understand the new material that, that you're bringing to the table. As a part of our current initiatives, we have developed a Newcomers Academy to provide intensive language instruction to our older L's at the high school level. We have also crafted a verified credit pathway to create a series of courses specifically designed with L needs in mind, providing equitable access to a standard or an advanced diploma. At present, we are planning for a pilot program at the middle school level. We continue to focus on collaborative strategies, large and small group sessions, and incorporating the language standards from WIDA, the World Class Instructional Design Association. <coughs> the final pillar is building parental and family capacity. We endeavor to provide opportunities for our families to learn about and engage in our school communities. We also seek to be enriched by the cultural experiences of our wonderfully diverse families. We have developed an ESL Parent Resource Center to provide information and host workshops. We also work to translate important documents and provide interpretation services for parent meetings. Every year, all of our students who are classified as English learners participate in the Access for L's assessment that measures each student's progress towards attaining English language proficiency in the reading, writing, listening, and speaking domains. The results of the assessment determines each student's level of language proficiency, starting with our newest students at level one, who have little to no English, ranging all the way to level five, representing our students with the highest levels of language proficiency. Students reaching level six are considered fully proficient and are exited from the program, but are monitored for four years to ensure their success. For the past three years, we've had a steady increase in the percentage of students attaining English proficiency and exiting the program. However, not every student in the program reaches the level of proficiency in a given year. The scores of those students are analyzed to determine if they've made progress. Progress is defined as student growth of at least one language proficiency level from the previous year. Over the past three years, 71, 84 and 82 percent of our L's respectively have met the criteria for having made progress. <coughs> Excuse me. One of our measures of academic progress are the standards of learning assessments. For the past three years, the reading scores of our L's have remained constant or improved. However, it should be noted that there is still a substantive gap between the scores of all students in WJCC and our English learners. Similarly, in math, we have also made notable gains in L performance exceeding the state standard for the past two years. The heroes of the ESL program in our 
School division are the students themselves. They share their cultures and communities that they come from with kids who may not ever get a chance to meet somebody that speaks a different language or from a different country. I'm proud to speak English and I like to speak English with my friends. I like reading the most. My favorite part about school is reading. The ESL program is helping me a lot to learn English. They help us for math language charts, and sometimes on recess time, if we have problems, we can go to the nurse. Goodbye.